Hello, so um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a chair. It's just a basic wooden chair in two-point perspective. So things you'll need are a ruler, a 2B pencil, a 2H pencil, a decent eraser. Okay, so I've got a PVC one which is um, better for erasing um, blackened pencils or dark pencils and also a sharpener as well. Just make sure your pencils are sharp at all times. The reason why I've got um, tape on the other side of my ruler is because I use a, um, a mechanical um, drafting table and this provides more friction um, so it doesn't um, you know, slip down. Okay, so I'm just on the flat surface right now. You don't need a drafting table for this. Ideally you would because then you can get your verticals and horizontals right. Okay, so um, for this tutorial, uh, you need to use a 2H pencil for, um, for your, um, your guidelines and rough lines, and a 2B is used for, um, if you can actually see it there, very hard on the camera to see it. You can just make it out, 2B pencil for the final lines. Um, majority of the time I'm going to be using a 2B just for this camera so it picks up um, my lines. So I'm going, going to be drawing my lines lightly with a 2B so you can pick it up and then I'll be drawing in darker lines later on. So first of all what you need to do is you need to establish the horizon line and on purpose I'm going to draw my horizon line a little bit higher up um, so you can actually see what I'm doing and just be aware that there is a bit of distortion in the lens of this um, of this camera because it is a wide angle lens on it. Okay, so um, otherwise I need to have the camera up on my, on my ceiling. Alright, so let's draw the horizon line in. Okay, so this is a two point perspective and I have here vanishing point one. I'm assuming too, by the way, that you understand basic two point perspective. Okay, now um, let's put in our bounding box of the chair Okay, so we have here, now I'm going to draw my chair so I'm looking down at it slightly, so it's easy for you to see. Um, I'm going to draw the bounding box here from here down to about here somewhere, so it's nice and big. Um, you can see this on YouTube, so it's is good. Just checking to see if you can see this on the camera, and you can. Um, and you draw a vanishing point line from this bottom here to the vanishing point one and you draw another one to um, vanishing point two from the other base there. So this is called a um, bounding box, okay, with two point perspective or any perspective or any drawing type you need to um, be aware of bounding boxes. So it's easy for you to understand how to cut into things and what have you, add later on to things as well. Okay, and we also have one going back to version point two. I'm also assuming you know how to do, do a basic box. Remember, our chair doesn't go on forever in both directions, so we need to cancel it off. Um, I'm going to have my chair a little bit more like a stool of some sort. Okay, so I'm going to have mine a little bit more narrow than normal. And you put in the edge of the vanishing point there. And then I'm going to have another line going from there down to the other side. So remember that in perspective, things go off into the distance um, and they go smaller and in front of you is a lot bigger. Let's put in the top of our bounding box. Okay. So I'm assuming you already know how to do stuff like this. All right, so this is a basic box, basic bounding box. Okay, so next up, what we need to do is we need to figure out where the person sits on the surface of the chair. All right, so I'm going to estimate um, the height of my stool to be roughly about here, so where the seat starts to about there somewhere. Okay, now in real life, you do actually have measurements um, for stools and things, okay? And if you want to learn how to do measurements properly in two-point perspective, you can use the front of this line here, so this only this line here, to do a scaled measurement from it, okay? So um, I believe I have another tutorial that I've um, got up online um, showing you how you can actually get some accurate 
um, measurements even leading backwards. Okay, all right, so we won't do that for this one, we're just estimating right now. Okay, so we draw a line from vanishing point one across here to across the surface of that left face, and we also do the same line on the right hand face. Okay, so remember that this is a top face, left face, right face. Okay, so um, we also now need to put in um, the backrest for the chair and also the um, the surface of where the, where the person's sitting. Let's put in the backrest first because we need to establish um, how thick the backrest is. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line from vanishing point two right to about here somewhere to give myself an understanding of how thick the top of the chair is. I'm going to zoom in now so I can actually see my drawing a little bit clearer because you all know um, how my vanishing point two and vanishing point one um, works. So I'm just going to adjust this. So for the time being, you'll see, um, you won't see my vanishing point one, vanishing point two, but you'll see my drawing itself. Okay, so um, let's work on this a little bit more. I need to adjust this so I can actually see the bottom. There we go. All right, so um, now what we need to do is we need to draw a vertical line down. So we need to run a parallel line going right down, down to the base of the chair. Well, that's a little bit wonky, so I need to erase it. All right. So I'm doing this without a drafting table. Okay. And because I have a ruler, which is, um, which is not transparent, I'm gonna have a little bit of difficulty. I can see through this slightly, you can't really see this, but you can just see a faint line right across there from underneath the drawing. And I'm using these lines here to guide myself in terms of the thickness, getting the thickness right. So hopefully that's a lot better now, it is. Okay, so I've established that. So that is the thickness of the chair there. Um, now, Remember that this is thicker compared to that side there, okay? Because that's in the distance. All right, so, and this side of the chair here, this leg would be also thicker as well, all right? So I'm gonna draw in a thicker leg. So this is an extreme thickness chair, okay? I'm gonna draw a line going down from here to here. I might actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, because it was roughly the same size. And I might make a little bit thicker there. There we go. That's better. All right, so we have that thickness there. And we also need to have the opposing side of the chair there too. So I might do like a negative line on the other side of the ruler, just so we can see that I'm getting kind of the same, okay? All right, and I also need to put in a um, the thickness of the um, the chair leg as well on that side. And now remember that distance is going to be smaller, okay? Not as wide. All right, so there we have it. Okay, so the chair's starting to take shape now. We also need to provide um, the legs to give them thickness as well. So if, we, I, if I draw a line from vanishing point to pivot up to this point here, and I draw a faint line across this way, like that. Okay, I'm now going to use, um, draw on the other side of my ruler. Now you can draw on the right and the correct side of the ruler if you wish. Um, I just can't see it too well, so I'm drawing on the other side. Draw a line down. So you can see now that this um, chair leg is three dimensional. Okay, you don't see um, any other thickness here. This is one corner than the other corner here. Okay, so um, other things you can do is now um, put in your vanishing point one down to this point here to do, to do the other side, draw a line up. Okay, and we're going to estimate the same sort of thickness. Okay. So there we go, we've got the other side there as well. All right. And now we're going to give the top some thickness. Let's draw a line up. From there to there. Draw a line across so you can see that happening there. Um, I can start erasing unnecessary lines as well. 
All right, so if I draw, if I erase this line here, understanding that the piece of wood itself goes from the bottom up to the top, okay? And I still, I still keep my line showing the, um, the connections of the, of the timber, okay? So you can see that there, right? This line goes right to that edge there and there's no continuous line going back there as well. Let's go back to vanishing point two now and draw a line from the other side across. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to draw, um, finish off the top side of this section. Now it's probably time, in fact, before I do this, I'm going to actually get rid of the top of this bounding box because I no longer need it. And it's going to distract me from um, the lines that I'm about to do. Okay, now it's time to sort of simplify the chair a little bit more, get rid of some of those unnecessary lines that I've got here. Okay, so I've got that basic sort of structure now. I can see it a lot better. Um, let's start, let's finish off this top of the stool that where the person sits, drawing a line from vanishing point two across, and then go to vanishing point one, and then finish off that top side there. Okay, and then we need to have another line here across there too. So remember that needs to be a vertical line going down. If you have drawn accurately, it should be absolutely vertical. That's the moment of truth right there. Okay. So I'm going to erase that line there. Okay. And that appears to be okay. Um, so if you want to take it a step further, um, you can also need to think about if you can see the leg on the other side as well. All right. So in this particular drawing, you don't see the leg, the rear leg, but you need to always sort of calculate. Let's draw a guideline going through this to see if we can see the leg. And no, the leg is not visible because the leg would be visible through here and um, you need to have x-ray vision, okay? All right, so um, that is how you actually figure out the where the leg needs to go on this side here, okay? And then you project a line from here across there to give it the thickness. And then you project a line from here across to give it the back thickness as well. Okay. All right, I'm just going to erase those unnecessary lines. And now all you need to do is um, maybe add some more detail. You can maybe round off this edge if you wish to. Okay. Um, you might want to inset these legs as well. Or you might like to put in a different sort of backrest in the chair there. So you might want to go to vanishing point two, for example. Put in the line there for that backrest to finish. Okay. All right, you might want to continue on that, um, the stool end there if you like, or what have you. All right, or you might want to just um, keep this, um, this might be metal, for example, this bit here might be metal. And all you do is you bring up your um, thickness of the steel or the leg from the other side. So um, remember that I need to project up, so I need to draw a um, line where it intersects from that previous line here that we had before, going from there. And I need to draw a line up from that intersect up across here giving me the thickness, okay, all right, and also now I need to figure out the thickness of that pole there, so I need to draw a line up again, all right, see where the intersect is, which is just there, and I draw a line up, another vertical line up, maybe that didn't work, too, work out too well, okay, and I've got this line here that comes up here as well. All right, so that's quite basic there, but you understand how to sort of figure out where lines actually match up. Okay, and that'll be all for this. I've gone a bit too long here. Okay, thank you. Bye.